good morning. Uh, no, but I know if y'all seen my post, y'all seen I had court today. Um, I waited till I got on the interstate to start doing this, but, um, man, if y'all ever go to court, do not show up in your pajamas, dress respectably, no t-shirts, no holy jeans, no nothing like that. That just holds up court for everybody else. Ladies, all your bracelets, man, Jesus Christ, one bracelet, you know, get through the metal detector, keep going, no bracelets, no big old hoop earrings, and if you do, you're going through a metal detector, take them off, leave them in the car, dudes, no pocket knives, no freaking box cutters, no nothing, you're going in a courthouse, like seriously, ladies, no, no short shorts, no, can see your thongs through the back of your pants, no midriff shirts, man, y'all ought to know this, it's a freaking courthouse, no pajamas, dudes, dress shoes, dress pants, dress shirt, girls, dress attire, man, it's a courtroom, man, the judge was pretty cool, but like, y'all held up court for no reason. I could have been back at the house by now. But, I mean, I say that to say this, man. Like, the judge was pretty cool. You know, the people kept letting their phones ring inside the courtroom. People answering their phones in the courtroom. Uh, people texting while waiting in line to see the judge. You know, she did slap a, like a $50 fine on somebody for having their uh, their cell phone while waiting in line. She did uh, hold this one dude in contempt of court for showing up in a sleeveless shirt. You know, she only charged him like 25 bucks, I believe. But I mean, y'all going to court, you know, you're supposed to look decent. You know, dressy, kind of, whatever. You know, and if anything else, more, more than half the court houses, like when you got court, <clears throat> they send you a piece of paper stating what you should and should not wear. I'll admit, Dublin, Georgia does not. Lauren County, whatever you want to call it. They don't. But, you should just, you know, respect yourself enough and respect the judge, the person you got to go in front of, who holds pretty much whatever you've done in the palm of her hand. Oh, excuse me. But, I mean, you, sh you should look presentable to her or him, whichever one it may be. This one lady, oh my God, and never show up drunk. Do not show up drunk to court. This one lady, oh my God. She showed up in court today with a vodka OJ. A vodka so strong, it looked like clear orange juice. Spilt it all over the guy. Spilt it all over the metal detector. Then they put her down in a room to wait on a, a, a on-duty officer to come pick her up. Because she showed up for court drunk. That's public intoxication. Now she's going to miss her court date. So that's a whole nother charge on top of that. But then they put her in this room. She throws up in the trash can, passes out, spills the rest of her drink while they let her have or keep her drink. I don't know. Not my call, not my courtroom, not my courthouse. But I've never in my life seen so many disrespectful people going into a courtroom or to a courthouse at one time like you know you did wrong because you have court <sighs> like at least look like you got some sense like I understand what I did okay what I did and this is just me uh, I don't suggest anybody else doing it I was driving down 16 heading to St. Simons I had some guys doing road rage in front of me. 
when they both cleared my path, I nailed the gas, got around them. I pull over to the side of the road. I see a cop on the left-hand side of the road. And I'm like, man, he's going after this dude. You know, he's, he's going to bust these dudes doing road rage. No. It took him 10 minutes to get to the other side of the road. He pulls behind me, and he's like, are y'all okay? Because I guess he's seen what happened. Are y'all all right? And I explained to him what happened, and he said, yeah, I know. But I uh, clocked you doing whatever. I'm, I'm not going to give any specific details or whatever. But uh, so now I got my fine I got to pay. Um, I got to do what I got to do to pay my shit. But at least I look respectful. I got sleeves from when I do security, private security. I put on my arms, I cover up my tattoos. I'm in a nice polo, no holes, no tear marks, no no nothing, brand new polo, brand new dress pants, brand new dress, you know, shoes. Everything matches. I understand, you should have wore a button up or something like that, but you ain't got to. But you can't show up with your damn underwear hanging out. I mean, dude, she lit two dudes up they walked in there with their pants hanging down, they ass showing. Man, $500 fine a piece. Then threw them out of the courtroom. So now they're on probation because they want to walk into a courtroom with their ass showing. But it is what it is. But I'm just saying, like, from here on out, man, y'all y'all all watch my Facebook. Y'all all, you know, I'm friends with most of y'all. Just please, if you ever have court for whatever reason, look presentable dress like you were going to church or something like dress like you know your grandparents want you to dress dress like you should but anyway uh yeah don't don't go to court drunk either that's that's apparently frowned upon especially when you're facing a dui already but anyway y'all have a good one i'm heading back to macon georgia uh yeah I'm this right here 75. That's as fast as I go right now. I, I don't want to face another speed ticket. Just got my driver's license clean. Two weeks later, got a ticket. But anyway, that's life. Well, Chris, uh, I got a speed ticket July 4th weekend in Dublin, Georgia. And the reason I got the ticket was because there was some dude road raging in front of me. And as soon as they got the path clear so I could pass them, I nailed the gas pedal, passed them, you know, got up the road a little bit, boom, pulled over, sheriff right there. You know, it is what it is. It happened. I'm not I'm, I'm mad about it, but I'm not mad about it. Uh... I pay, I'm pissed off because I had a job driving, you know, for a company. But uh, I had a job driving for a company. I could have took the job, but now since I got this ticket on my record, I can't take the job because they told me they pull their records every six months. So if they pull the record again six months later, even though it's not on my record now, in six months I can get fired because of this ticket. But the cool thing about it is being, I'm not 25 or under anymore, which I has perks to getting older. Uh, the judge told me once I get through with paying my fine, uh, defensive driving and doing a little community service, just because that's what they do now, it's gonna come off my record, Scott Clean, never been on there. So right now I gotta go to the house, find a uh, defensive driving class, uh, go do some community service and be done with everything but anyway y'all have a good one you know just heads up you know y'all go to court they gonna fuck you up look like you got some sense but uh, anyway yeah also y'all check out my, my YouTube channel The Big John Show some of the videos I shoot on here is on there some of the videos I put on there I cannot put on here you know uh, 
my mom watches this and everything else but she don't know how to work youtube so just saying check my videos out some good some bad some funny some not but anyway i'm trying to watch out for the police i'm not speeding though i got my cruise control 75 but y'all have a good one